I hope that intro made you curious, because these two animals are just amazing, one being a very skilled tree climber, and the other one being able to jump more than 3 meters in height. I can't wait to announce the competitors of the 11th episode of Animal Battle. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present you our two competitors. The Kirkel versus The Clouded Leopard. Also, at the end of the video, you'll find out who is the winner of the last battle between the dingo and the African wild dog. Let's do it. I'm Mario and this is Animal Battle. To decide who is going to be the winner of this battle, we are going to evaluate both of them based on six different characteristics. Agility, Attack, Defense, Intelligence, Bone Skill and Survival. Because it is not only power that matters. But, having said that, you might be amazed by their hunting strategies, so don't miss that. So let's jump right into it. We will start with the agility stats, which are just impressive, especially for their size. So clouded leopards can reach speeds of up to 64 km per hour, which is already impressive. But caracals can run at a speed of 80 km per hour, which is as fast as a lion. And it is just the beginning. Caracals are also adroit climbers, being able to climb trees with ease, but still they are not as good at that as clouded leopards, which are just amazing in trees. Clouded leopards can rotate their ankles so that they can actually go downwards a tree, holding themselves with their back legs. Even more, they have been spotted walking upside down on branches, which is very helpful since they live in jungles. Their tail plays an important role in that because it is used for balance. But the caracal has one more card up its sleeve. It can actually jump higher than 3 meters to catch birds in mid-air. It is even more impressive when you take into consideration their size. For these amazing jumps, they use their strong back legs. The caracal can even twist and change its direction in mid-air. Also, when it is able to jump so high, it is important to have a proper landing technique. So when it is in the air, the caracal needs to push itself to turn around. But there is nothing there, it actually rotates its front and back end in different directions at the same time to push against itself. Then the caracal holds its front paws closer to spin faster and prepares for a safe landing. Now let's see their agility stats. So their agility stats are just amazing. Caracals being better at this due to their higher speed and their incredible jumping ability, but the clouded leopard's climbing ability is also remarkable. And these abilities will come in handy when we will talk about their attack and defense stats. They are actually pretty small compared to other felids, as you can see from these shots from American television shows. To see exactly how big they are, I am going to use some detective skills learned as a Russian spy. So, knowing the height of Conan O'Brien and counting the pixels, I approximated the length of caracals to about 78 cm and their weight to 12 to 18 kg. And, to be sure, I double checked it with Wikipedia, so my calculations are correct. I did the same thing for finding the length of clouded leopards and approximated their body length to 81 to 108 cm and the tail length to 74 to 91 cm. They can also weigh 11.5 to 23 kg. And surprisingly, my calculations match the numbers from Wikipedia. Although they look pretty small, caracals can hunt animals from rodents and small birds to sheep, goats, impalas and even ostriches. The caracal stalks the prey until it is within 5 meters of it, after which it runs it down and bites the prey by the throat. Here is used its amazing speed, but it is even more interesting when caracals catch birds in mid-air. It executes its amazing jump and tries to injure the bird, hitting it with one paw, or tries to catch it and bring it down, after which the meal is served. It usually hunts during the night and has 2 cm long canines for inflicting extra damage. But that is nothing compared to the canines of a clouded leopard, which are 4 cm long. The clouded leopard is also called the modern day saber tooth, because it has the largest canines in proportion to its body size from all felids. They are nocturnal and solitary, and can hunt rodents, porcupines, pangolins, as well as monkeys, birds, deer, and even cattle. Unfortunately, there are no videos of them hunting since they are pretty rare and hard to spot in jungles. Both of them have competitors. 
Clouded leopards can be killed by leopards and tigers, so they try to avoid them by climbing trees, while caracals are mostly killed by hyenas and lions, but have other competitors like jackals, leopards and cheetahs. It's time to see their stats. It is hard to compare their attack stats since they have different hunting techniques. Clouded leopards hunting in trees and the caracal running the prey down or catching flying birds, but both have pretty high attack stats for their size and are doing a little bit worse at defense stats due to their many competitors. Now we are moving on to bonus skills. Clouded leopards have a clouded pattern which is very good for camouflage in jungles. Caracals are also difficult to observe in savannas due to their camouflage and the black tufts on the ears actually give them a more irregular shape to blend better in grass. Both of them have a good night vision and caracals also have black lines around their eyes to reduce glare caused by the sunlight. Also, caracals have big ears for an excellent hearing and can move them in all directions using 20 different muscles. So let's see their bonus skill stats. So caracals are a little bit better at this due to their exceptional hearing. Now we will quickly talk about intelligence stats. Both of them are pretty intelligent because they are carnivores and hunting requires a higher level of intelligence. So their intelligence stats are... Good enough. And last but not least are survival stats, which are important because an animal species can participate further in animal battle as long as it is not extinct. Surprisingly, caracals are doing fairly good here, being listed as the least concerned species. Unfortunately, the same can't be said about clouded leopards, which are listed as a vulnerable species because there are less than 10,000 of them in the wild. This is mainly due to humans hunting them for their bones and canines used in medicine and beautiful coats used for making expensive clothes. But do you really think that such a coat is worth the life of several clouded leopards? Also, clouded leopards can have 1 to 5 cubs, which can live up to 11 years in the wild, and caracals can have 1 to 6 kittens, which will live up to 12 years. So now we can see their final stats. As you can see, both of them have fairly good stats, being especially good at agility and attack for their size. So who won? Well, it is up to you because you can vote the winner in the poll right there and leave your interesting opinions in the comments down below. Also tell your friends, parents and babushka to smash that subscribe button because I intend to take on PewDiePie and T-Series. Nice! Now I can announce the winners of the last battle between the Dingo and the African Wild Dog. So, after counting all the votes, the winner is... The African Wild Dog. It is an amazingly powerful and agile predator and I think it has the chance to win even the Grey Wolf. And those who voted for the Dingo don't be upset, because here on Them From Animals we know that all animals are amazing. So once again, don't forget to vote the winner of this episode's battle in the top right corner and if you like what I make, consider supporting me on Patreon. Respect animals.